Now, uh, you said earlier during the two sessions that you consider yourself as a great bear. Uh, I guess that's a terminology that you invented yourself, uh, um, meaning that you are keen on the development of the Greater Bay Area, uh, which is in the southern part of China, bringing in a lot of vibrant cities, including Hong Kong and Macau uh, as a whole. So tell me more about what do you expect when the national plan is around 5%, what does that mean for the Greater Bay Area? The Greater Bay Area represents already now one third of uh, the kind of GDP of uh, China and it is also basically uh, attracting a lot of foreign direct investments. So we actually can see a lot of cross germination of new industry sectors. We see that there have been already established uh, co good collaboration. We now have a lot of Hong Kong companies that are putting their bases also into these cities and vice versa. So I believe this is not even just a an idea. This is, this is obviously uh, a, a major national campaign championed by our own uh, President Xi, uh, simply because he has a mm -hmm. very strong understanding of the capabilities of the southern China uh, region. And now I think this is the right timing to do it. Uh, from my part, of course, my concern is still on uh, growing out the Tourism Plus platform and when we talk right. about the Tourism Plus platform, you cannot do it just by yourself. You cannot develop a holistic right. and comprehensive catchment if you are just developing out one single market. We also have the notion that if we are successful, imagine in the future, we will be able to welcome international visitors to come and not to just stay a few days um, in one particular city, but rather to plan a very meaningful and also maybe rewarding uh, kind of experience in the whole of the Bay mm. uh, Greater Bay Area. Ms. Ho, it's such a pleasure talking to you. I'm sure our conversation will continue for the coming months and years.